are going to tell it all today on... And here's the host of I'm Telling, Lori Fazzo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and welcome to our special celebrity edition of I'm Telling, where brothers and sisters can win a ton of prizes and money, too, simply by showing how well they really know each other. Let's meet our special teams for today. Will you please welcome, from our house, Shannon Doherty and her real-life brother, Sean. And from the facts of life, Mackenzie Aston and his real brother, Sean. From rags to riches, Heidi Ziegler and her brother, Chuck. All right. Good luck to every one of you. Now, here's how we play, I'm telling. We're going to ask each of our players about their brothers or sisters' habits, their likes and dislikes, and maybe we'll reveal a funny secret or two. We'll record their answers after we magically teleport their brother or sister to our isolation zone. When we teleport them back, we'll ask them the same questions. Now, if they match, they'll earn points, and whoever has the most points at the end of two rounds will go on to our spectacular pick-a-prize arcade, where they could wind up donating all 20 prizes on stage to the National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse. All right, you guys. We're all ready now. Round one focuses, focuses on Shannon, Sean, and Heidi telling all about their brothers. So, guys, time to teleport you to the ISO zone. We made those siblings disappear. Okay, the first question is worth 25 points. And Shannon, you're going to select one of three categories for the first question using your random selector. Let's take a look at your category. They are three of a kind, a beach ball, and live and learn. We're going to set them spinning whenever you're ready, Shannon. Hit that selector. Live and learn. Shannon, what kind of lessons should your brother sign up for? How to tell a joke, how to get better grades, or how to stop picking on you? <laughs> how to stop picking on me. Oh, does he do that a lot? Yes, a lot. That nasty guy. We'll talk to him. <laughs> Sean, uh, what kind of lessons should your brother sign up for? How to tell a joke, how to get better grades, or how to stop picking on you? I think uh, my little brother needs to learn how to tell a joke. Tell a joke. Yeah, he, uh... Not too good at that, huh? Yeah, he always seems to give away the punchline right at the beginning of the joke. Nah, that's bad. Or, or he'll start out with by telling me the wrong beginning of... Uh, he, he needs to learn he needs how to work. tell a joke. Yeah, I can understand that. Heidi, how about your brother? Well, he knows how to tell a joke, and he... Um, what is the other joke? How to tell a joke, how to get better grades, or how to stop picking on you? Um, he gets good grades, and, um, I'm probably gonna say that he, he should learn how to not pick on me. Not to pick on <laughs> you, yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, Sean, the next question's for you. It's worth 50 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's give him a look. Double trouble. Crime and punishment and dance dunce. We're gonna spin them around whenever you're ready. Hit that selector, Sean. Dance dunce. Sean, if your brother was in a dancing class, what grade would he most likely get? An A, a C, or an F? Well, um, I'd have to say he's not, he's not a terrible dancer. He's an all right dancer. He's not uh, John Travolta or anything. He, I, I'd, say, I'd say B, probably. Or C, was he? A, a, yeah, C, a C or F? Or F. A C. I, I think he just passed. Average. Okay. Heidi, how about your brother? Um, I'd say he'd probably get a B because he's always acting hot and yeah, dancing but we, all around. We can't choose B. It's either A, C, or F, oh. though. Okay, um, C. A C. C. Another average. Shannon, how about your brother? Well, because I taught him everything that he knows. Because I'm... Oh, yeah. Um, he would get an A, definitely. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good enough for me. All right, Heidi, Heidi, you get the final question, and it's worth 75 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's take a look. Top slob, TV time, and the nose glows. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Heidi. Hit that selector. TV time. Heidi, what's the name of the last TV show the two of you watched together? Uh, 
Miss Heidi. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um. You gotta think of Well, me. this is one that he likes to rent smoothies, so I'm gonna say the sword in the stone. <laughs> the what? S sword in the stone. Sword in the stone, okay. Shannon. Oh, he's never home. <laughs> um, <laughs> party's too much. Uh, I would say moonlighting because it's his favorite. Moonlighting. Sean. Um, he also is never home. Um, <laughs> quick, we need an answer. Okay, how about the Manhattan Project? The Manhattan Project, okay. Hey, we've recorded their answers and we'll bring back their brothers in just a minute to see how well they really do know them. Stay tuned for more Fam TV. Congratulations to the. Now, back to our show on Fam TV. We've recorded the answers, and it's time now to teleport the brothers back from the ISO zone. So let's do that right now. And they're still glowing. Welcome back, guys. First question is for Sean Doherty, and it's worth 25 points. Sean, the category selected is live and learn. What kind of lessons would you sh sign up for, Sean? How to get better grades, how to stop picking on your sister, or how to tell a joke? What do you think your sister said? Hmm. Um... I've always had bad jokes, so it'd probably be how to tell a joke. How to tell a joke. Let's see what your sister said. She said, how to stop picking on her. So, he no, said, you creep. I have too much fun. I have too much your fun picking on bad. you. Your jokes are bad. You're right. He picks on her instead of telling jokes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie. How to stop picking on Mac. How to stop picking on him. Let's see what he said. He said you couldn't tell a I joke. I can tell very good. Jokes. You're the, the one who blows the jokes. The question was, what would I say? I don't have a problem with you picking on me. <laughs> no, You're but you have a problem with picking on me. <laughs> no, but that wasn't the question. That was the question. <laughs> Later, you're going to tell us all a joke, Mackenzie, if we have time. Chuck. I say that I pick on her too much. And so, how to stop picking on Heidi? Heidi said, how to stop picking on her at the moment. Okay, Mackenzie, this next question is for you. It's worth 50 points. The category selected is dance dance. Mackenzie, if you were in a dancing class, what grade would you most likely get? An F, a C, or an A, according to your brother? Well, if this is coming from Sean, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, I don't think he'd put me down that much. I'll say a C. A C. Let's see what he said. He said a C. He's worth 50 points. All right. Chuck, an F, a C, or an A, Chuck, according to Heidi. Well, I don't think she's ever really seen me dance that much, so I think she'd say an F. An F, Heidi said. A C, she thinks you're better than an F, Chuck. I'm not that... Oh, well. <laughs> He's wrong. Why is that so hot about it, though? And Sean Dord. Well... Shannon's been my dance teacher, and I know she doesn't like to look bad, so I'd have to say an A. An A. Shannon said an A because she taught how to dance. That's a match 50 points. Way to go. Okay, Chuck, this next question's for you. It's worth 75 points. The category selected is TV time. Chuck, what's the name of the last TV show the two of you watched together? Ooh, I... I... I don't know. On the weekdays, we just sometimes watch Give Me a Break. So that's your so, answer? Yeah. Give me a break. Say that. Heidi said, the sword and the stone. You, you like, yes, Chucky. You like, <laughs> you like to watch um, recorded oh, yeah, movies, but, but so I couldn't think of anything So else. I like to watch tapes. Oh, okay, give her a you're break. Right. No, I don't believe Okay. It. Sean Doherty. Name of the last TV show the two of you watched together. Ooh, this is difficult. We don't watch much. Um, I'd have to say, since since I love her so much, uh -huh. it'd have to be our house. Our house. Shannon said. Moonlighting. Uh oh. Moonlighting. Yeah. But, uh, it's your favorite show. Yeah, you never but watch TV. So. I'm never home on Tuesdays. <laughs> You're never home. Period. <laughs> okay. He's never home. 
Okay, Mackenzie. Ah, uh, well. Last show. The last thing that we watched, we don't want to talk about that. We, um, <laughs> I would have to say, in a, can it be like a movie? Anything. Last I would thing have to say The Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project. Sean said The Manhattan Project has a match. 75 points. All right. At the end of round one, Heidi and Chuck have 25 points. Shannon and Sean have 50 points. And Sean and Mackenzie have 125 points. All those points can change. Because in round two, the tables will turn as we learn all about Shannon, Sean, and Heidi from their brothers. They're gone. Okay, the first question is worth 50 points, and now they get to select the category for each question. Sean, you're first. Here are your categories. You two, chances are, and way too much. We're going to set them spinning whenever you're ready, Sean. Hit that selector button. Chances on. Okay, Sean. Do you think your sister would have a better chance at being elected student body president, getting a date, or making straight A's? Ooh, that's difficult. She's never had any problems with either one of them. <laughs> um, her best chance. Con student? Considering that all of my 20-year-old friends are after, I'd say, getting a date. Getting a date. Okay. Mackenzie, do you think your brother would have a better chance of being elected student body president, getting a date, or making straight A's? Uh, well, we've already gone through student body president. Sean ran for it a few years back. He didn't get it. Uh -huh. And getting straight A's, let's not talk about that. Well, okay. Sean, so I'd have to say getting a date. Getting a date. All right. He'll be glad to hear that. Chuck, how about your sister? Well, well, my sister's a little too young to date, mm -hmm. so, so she won't be too good on getting a date, but I think she's a, she's a good student, so she'd do good getting A's. Getting straight A's, yeah. okay. All right, Mackenzie, the next question's worth 75 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's give them a look. History lessons. Watch the clock. And losing sleep. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Mackenzie. Smack that button. History lessons. Okay, Mackenzie, what is the exact date and year of your brother's birth? February 25th, 1971. February 25th, 1971. Okay, Chuck, exact date and year of your sister's birth? March 26th, 1979. Okay. I hope. Yeah, 79, we gotta take it, Sean. I hope I get this right if I don't, I'm a dead man. Uh-huh. Uh, April 12th, 1971. All right. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, Chuck, this is the third question. It's for you. It's worth 150 points. Let's take a look at the categories. Creature feature. In the future. And sweet revenge. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Chuck. Hit that button. In the future. Chuck, right after high school, is your sister going to go straight to work or go on to college? I think she'd probably want to go on to college because she's really strong on school. She'd okay. want to go to college. On to college. Sean. I would have to say definitely college. On to college. I agree with both of them. In our family, it's not a question. It's you are going to college. Oh, okay. So, so the orders are he'll be going on to college. Going to college. Okay. We've recorded the answers, and in a few seconds, we're going to teleport Shannon, Sean, and Heidi back from the ISO zone and find out who's going to go on to play in our Pick a Prize Arcade. Return after these messages. Tired of your average. Now, back to our show. We've recorded the answers, and it's time now to teleport everyone back from that celebrity ISO zone. So let's do that right now. And they're back. Okay, Shannon, the first question is for you. It's worth 50 points. The category selected is chances are. <laughs> Would you have a better chance of making straight A's, being elected student body president, or getting a date? Getting a date. Getting a date, Sean yeah. said. Getting a date. Sean. I don't get straight. It has to be getting a date. It has to be. Getting a date. Mackenzie said. Getting a date. All right. <laughs> Heidi, how about you? 
Well, I'm not really good at getting a date. You will be, believe me. <laughs> and I usually get all A's, so I'm going to say you get all A's. All A's, Chuck said. All A's, that's right. That's 50 points. Way to go. Sean, the next question for you is worth 75 points. The category selected is history lessons. Sean Aston, what is the exact date and year of your birth? We want to see if your brother got it right. Of my birth? Yeah. <laughs> what I think it is, what he thinks it is. <laughs> no, you tell, me, you tell me what it is and we'll see if your brother got it right. February 25th, 1971. Let's see what your brother said. That's correct. If you got it wrong, I would have killed you. <laughs> Heidi, exact date and year of your birth. Let's see if Chuck knows it. March 26, 1979. Okay, and Chuck said... That's right, that's enough, 75 points. Yeah. Shannon. He probably doesn't know it. <laughs> we'll find out. What is it? April 12, 1971. Sean said, boy, is he relieved. All right. That's a match for 75 points. Okay, here's the final question. The category selected is in the future. Remember, this question is worth 150 points, so it's still anybody's game. At this point in the game, Heidi and Chuck have 150 points. Shannon and Sean have 175 points. And Sean and Mackenzie have 250 points. We're going to start with you, Heidi, for 150 points. Right after high school, Heidi, are you going to go straight to work or are you going to go on to college? I think your brother said. Um, well, I really enjoy work, and my mom told me that it's going to be fun in college, so I'm going to, I guess I'll probably say I'm going to go straight to work. Straight to work, Chuck said. You're going to go on to college. You, we all say that you should go to college first because work isn't that as important as your education, because... Well, I like work. So? <laughs> I bet she'll be able to do both of them, well, too. You can't be an actor. Hey, Shannon, how about you? Well, I make good grades, but college is <laughs> a long ways off. So I would say straight to work. Oh, straight to well. work. Sean said, you go on to work. college. What about SC? Stop. Time out. Time out. Jump ball. Wait, wait. Sean and Mackenzie, there's no way anybody can catch up to you guys. So you're our winner. Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse, and you get to go on to our Pick a Prize Arcade. Kids, for playing I'm Telling, each of you will receive one of these 10-speed bicycles, replicas of the bikes the pros use. And you'll also receive the exciting home version of I'm Telling to enjoy. Lori! We'll be right back with Sean and Mackenzie in our fabulous Pick a Prize Arcade right after this. Fam TV will be right back. You're standing at the door. Now, back to our show on Fan TV. We're back with Mackenzie and Sean here at the Pick a Prize Arcade. Why don't you guys wander down there and check out these prizes for a minute? Okay, now this is how everything works. We've got 10 boys' prizes and 10 girls' prizes. Before the show, each of you pick the six you thought would best benefit your charity. Now, both of you are going to run through the arcade and pick six prizes each. If you match a total of 10 prizes, your charity will get all 20 of them. Now, uh, Sean, you pick from the yellow platforms, and Mackenzie, you pick from the pink platforms. We're going to show the home audience the six prizes Mackenzie thinks you're going to select, Sean. Meanwhile, you get ready. Think about the ones you're going to select. Hey, okay. Get right up here. All right, they've seen them at home. Get on your mark. You can only pick six. Get set. Go! Okay, you get one more choice, one more choice. Go ahead, go ahead, get it. 
six and you matched on five. Way to go, Sean. Where did you... Mackenzie, now it's your turn to get up there and match as many as you can. Remember, oh, if the two of you get a oh, total God. of ten, oh, your charity is going to get oh, all God. 20 of them. Hey, Mackenzie's yeah. excited here. Oh. Wait a minute, now we're going to show the home audience the six prizes. Your brother thinks you're going to select, Mackenzie. Oh, Loosen up, good. bud. Relax. Good. Yeah, I know you can do it. I know I you can do it. Good. Deep breath. All right, get on your mark. Right. Jet set. Go, Mackenzie. Oh, of child abuse. We're going to go look at those prizes and Dee's going to tell us how we did. Let's go check them out. Mackenzie and Sean on top of the $500 donated to the National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse. They'll also receive eight fabulous prizes like the home stereo system, the basketball and backboard, the remote control car, the video game, the boogie boards, the Barbie dolls, the beauty kit, and the assortment of records and cassettes. Lori. Okay, hey, listen, we're going to give away every single prize. Every prize is going to 